This is December 14th. Uh, let's talk about 25 Days of Christmas. Today we're talking about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Reindeer. Tomorrow we're talking about... I, I lost my list. Hold on. A Christmas Story! Alright. Um, this is a movie from 1998. It's uh, when Rudolph is born with a red nose, he's bullied throughout his pup younger years. But then, Stormella closes her bridge of off to the public, why does it say of to the public, and threatens to put Santa out of business for good. IMDB has a typo. I, um, I'm, 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 I'm a starter, right? That's probably in poor taste. I am very sorry about that. I'm, I'll just shut up now. Well, IMDB is like Wikipedia. Anyone can edit it. Y'all ever see Anyone? the Go Animate the Movie thing they did? Why? So I don't know if I've seen this movie or not. Because I remember watching some Rudolph movie that wasn't the um er, that wasn't the original stop motion one. I'm not sure if it was this one, but this one like I don't, you sent like a gif of it. It straight up looked like it was made by the same people that made uh Titanic: The Legend Goes On. No, the, the, well, the only other... somehow... <laughs> oh. okay, All right, you go ahead. You go. You go ahead. You go. Ahead, you go ahead. The only <laughs> other non-Rudolph Rudolph movie I know is uh, uh, the creepy one from 2000 that had the hippo lady in it. Guys, I don't know. Guys, they have Hi. so many. They have so many stars in this. They have John Goodman, Whoopi Goldberg, Debbie Reynolds, Bob Newhart, Eric Idle, Richard Simmons, Alec Willows. Okay, wait, I don't know this. I think that's just... All right, well, like I said, Richard Simmons, Eric Idle, Bob Newhart, Debbie Reynolds, Whoopi Goldberg, and John Goodman. John Goodman plays Santa. I swear to God, that's like the best role he's ever been in. He, he did it in the SpongeBob Christmas. Um, It's a SpongeBob Christmas. I like that Um, Debbie Reynolds, she voices like... She voices four different ca characters in this. She voices Mrs. Claus, Mitzi, which is Rudolph's mother, Mrs. Prancer, and the school teacher. Isn't Debbie huh. Reynolds? Isn't Debbie Reynolds like the uh, Jesse girl? No, that's uh, Debbie Ryan. Oh, Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds was in Singing in the Rain, and now the unsinkable Molly Brown, Timmy and the Bachelor. Pretty prominent actor from. I, I know these are cl wow. like classic movies. It seems like I don't Is know actors. Okay, so don't be mad at me. Don't be. Oh. She was a uh, Lulu Pickles. I don't know who that is from Rugrats. Is that not, is that their Lulu mom? Pickles, you mean? Lulu Pickles. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Is that their mom? Let me look at her up. But she was in the Rugrats. She was in Halloween Town High. Um, Ooh, Halloween Town. Oh, Return to Halloween Town. She was in Him Possible, Family Guy. Oh, she was um, Mrs. Wilson, Family Guy. She was Granny um, Squirrel in the Penguins Madagascar show. So we're watching a Rudolph movie. Yeah. Do you want to sit and we're talking about? Well, and things. You want to talk about your light bulbs and no? Uh... Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is this is another rant of mine. Okay. So because I just have this pent up rage now. Oh, Lulu Pickles was a grandma. Oh, she, oh, she's um, uh, the the, 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 uh, the grandpa with the glasses. You know. I don't know. <laughs> his, I forgot his name. He's like, he's like bald. And he's like with glasses and mustache. That's you know, Tommy's cool. Tommy's grandpa. What? Lou. Okay, Lou. Um, she played his wife. That she she came in the later seasons, when like uh, oh. Kimmy came in and stuff. That makes sense. All right. Anyways, I went on Amazon Cyber Monday because we were recording this in advance. Yes, it's December second, <laughs> and we're only fourteen days in. That's incredibly stressful. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> um, Cyber Monday came. Obviously, like about a couple days ago, and I bought some LED light bulbs because my my room has two light sockets in there. I have like a weird spotlight thing, and I wanted, you know, I, they're smart, just like connect to Wi-Fi. You know, they're all it's, it's cool. You know, these connect to Wi-Fi, they can change color, all that. I bought three of them, you know, because I could have bought a three pack for twenty dollars, or I could have bought three individual ones for six ninety nine, five ninety nine each for nineteen dollars. So. Save about two dollars because our tax here is incredibly high. 
100% almost. Yeah, I'm like, all right, I'll download the app. Sure, I love downloading apps. Download the Smart Life app. They're smart. One light bulb in there, in one socket. The other two are out. It tells me, turn it off, and it starts going like a strobe light, basically. And... I did... What? So they want to connect, it burnt out, On the setup process, my light bulb rant. Um, not as anger inducing as Dumbo. That was more of just about a year now, then. Oh, and by the way, to the one person who disliked the first episode, you don't have to come and confess. We're looking for you. We're going to find you so you can run and oh. tell that. <gasps> Well, I'm gonna dox him. Wait, I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay. Number is four four three. Wait, four. Wait, four three four. One. Yeah, so this is the same nine, nine. so Santa Claus 2 is out now. It's already already disliked the first one. <laughs> it went... It's like this, like, I'm like, I'm like, the first episode. And, like, and then kind of like, you know, ever... It doesn't dislike. Let me check, let me check episode 2. Let me see. Let me make sure no one disliked that. We <laughs> did. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Home Alone. We gotta go. What? I mean, I, well, I mean, uh, well, I mean, Home Alone's I, It's just, I, I don't like it. This movie is just bad. But I don't know. Exact. Oh. You know, business. If if. if. For some reason, we don't want to just to catch up. Because, so, I must like probably about five days of editing. So, I have up the prepping landing two uploaded. No, just the first one, because I have to export, I'm exporting the second one right now. Because I, I have a bunch of them edited, but not, I have to export them, and that takes forever. So, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, um, I'm working the crazy to get these out. I gotta work like crazy to get these out on time. I cannot wait until January 1st. We're when... finally done. <laughs> <laughs> no, like when we're doing it weekly. Because when we're doing it weekly, we can record like three days in a row. That's an entire month of just, you know. And we'll have. And they're a burden when it's actually fun to make. Oh, it's, it's really fun to make. It's just it's stressful. <laughs> Especially when you have Wi Fi and you're thinking, like, oh crap, this is not going to come out in time, is it? Oh no. Oh lord. Oh Jesus. And I, I even, I'm like, okay, so I'm going to download all the audio because how I get the audio, I have to download it. Long story there. And I'm going to download all the audio and I'm going to throw it into my editor. I got to convert the audio to MP3 and I forgot to do that because I wasn't going to have Wi Fi, so I was going to edit them because I, I don't need Wi Fi when I'm editing. I had all the assets for it. I had like the intro music, I have like the in between things. 
<laughs> I realized, oh, I didn't convert these to MP3. So it's like, it's, it's, um, I forgot what audio format it is, but it's like really high quality. So the file size is insanely, like, it's like two to three times bigger than MP3. So my video editor just crashes every time I try to put it in there. So that's why I got to export to, to MP3. So that's fun. Um, you guys want to go watch? watch. <laughs> you know, big tangent. Yeah, that's me. All right, I go on big tangents. All right. Well, we're gonna go watch this horrible movie. Um, we'll see you in a second. Enjoy this clip of the movie, or from a trailer if I can't find a clip from the movie in high quality. Okay, bye. a crack about my son's nose. He's beautiful, not odd. And perfect the way he is. You're absolutely right. I do every album in the movie sound like this. What is with this character to drill with voice acting? Okay, I want you guys to say one, at least one positive thing about it. Uh... Well, it had Matt Hill in it. Matt Hill is in a lot of good things. Like Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Yeah. And, uh, Captain N? Um, he was... in Monster Rancher. No way. Wait, I think, I don't know. Don't, 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 don't add me on that one. That was such a good movie, am I right? No. It had okay. some good qualities. How is it I, 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 I can give it. I can give it one positive. I can give it one positive. I like Rudolph's head tufts. You give a character head tufts or fangs, and I'm not going to get Those guys do, were planning to release this in um, theaters. <laughs> no, they weren't even released in October. Yeah, I okay. wish I had that Slimey? kind of bravery. Lily and Ridley were redesigned only months before the movie's release. Ridley was going to have a striped blue and white butler suit, and Lily was on, was originally have, going to be red before they redesigned them months before the release. And it's all white. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, he's not white. Only he's months. Perfect. Yeah. Man. Like, <laughs> Well, Those guys it, it were insane. Shows, it just shows how just like, <laughs> like how rushed this movie was. If you watch it, you can tell it's pretty rushed. So many animation. So many cross eyes. I like I like how I like how, I like how the most important scene in where we were supposed to be leaving the slave only like thirty seconds long. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he could have wished for the storm to be over, but no, he's just like, oh, I want you to be nice. nice. Rudolph sounds like Ash Ketchum. And, and that one blonde beard looks like Gary. Straight up, straight, up sound, straight up sounds like him, but it's not even the voice actor. I'm Gary, but I'm a deer now. What oh, kind of fan fiction was this? Though Canadian voice actor Matt Hill was part of the cast, voicing the older Arrow and Donner, because unknown for unknown reasons, was uncredited. Would you want your name associated with this movie? Yeah, yeah, Un fair, un fair. Unknown reasons. This is probably just him getting up to the money. Like, we'll yeah, give you $100. This is one of those... You don't talk to me, I don't talk to you, let's just do this and get it over with. God, this movie is just so rush. Okay. Canadian actor Scott McNeil originally recorded voices for Slyle and Bernard before being released by Eric being replaced by Eric Idle and Bob Newhart in the US respectively prior to the film's release. God, in this the US? movie. Is this a foreign movie? No. I can really hear the question mark. This whole movie feels it's, like reverse lost media. It's, it's Canadian. So, I don't know, I don't think that really counts as foreign. 
if it's Canadian, then it might have been French because what people speak there. Yeah, because like uh, so French or Canadian. A lot of people do speak French. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I... They don't speak Canadian. They speak French over there. It, 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 a lot of Canadian, a lot of um, English and um, Canadian and, and, and French. French. I, hmm. I, I, I hate the character voice trope of, like, of characters, like, you know, like, they just sound like they smoke, like, ten packs of cigarettes a day, and they just all, like, they all talk like this, like, okay, Sienna. Just oh, like boy, maybe we'll get a Mega Man from Captain N. <laughs> yeah, like, what is with that in, like, the 80s? Oh, God, the goofs. I want to see the goofs. Wait, this whole movie wasn't the goof. <laughs> I'm Enlighten on, uh, me. Rudolph what are some of the goofed. goofs? Uh, <laughs> the whole movie is everything. Yeah, this is, this brings up a good point. No one brings up how Arrow is just knocking other people out during the middle of the race. No one brings that up. What? <laughs> Rudolph is like uh, Rudolph. They're like, ah, you can't use your nose. But they don't bring up the fact that one of the reindeer were like knocking a reindeer out. <laughs> Other reindeer out. Someone took, someone took reindeer on reindeer art. violence is serious. Someone, so, someone took the time to write an IMDb page for this movie. People just making jokes about these reindeer killing each other. Oh, by the way, this is how they have IMDb. This is this is related to IMDb, but not related. Mr. Oh, Meaty like does not. Mr. Meaty has an IMDb page with no. So who's gonna fill that out? I like this. Just, oh yeah, it's, it's it's a it's a long paragraph, but it's, it's distur like disturbing another sense. It's just what happened to the female foxes? Yeah, yeah where, where they go? That's a good point. Honestly, I thought it, I thought it was just like just for the song to be like. What if Maybe they the were fox? just a hallucination. Like yeah, they were never yeah. there. From the radiation, who knows? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe he just hallucinated. I don't know. He's just I, been I lonely know. for so long. I have no clue if radiation makes you hallucinate. <laughs> he kind of made that up. It could. Like, like in that, uh, one SpongeBob thing where it's like, uh, yeah, thank you. No more pictures, please. Because they gave Mr. Krabs, like, 25 x-rays all at once. Hey, kids! Oh, it's hey, getting hot in want... here! Should my underwear be on fire? Thank you! Why did we watch, why did we, why did we watch it? <laughs> hey, you never know! It, it could have been, like, some kids annual Christmas movie. You gotta, you gotta appreciate. How, how poor were two, how poor were us two thousand kids? That, that was like, that, that's not like a big... I don't know. I mean, like, you never know. There are some, there are some things that you see at like the video store that you just, you watch it just to see what's on it. Like, when I was little, there was this one cartoon about these little pea people, the vegetable, not the liquid. This movie just that movie gave me vibes that I would, like, obsessively watch at, like, my grandma's house on VHS, but not actually, like, it, just watch it because we had it was there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't have a lot of options, so you just gotta, you gotta make do with what you do have. Yep. <laughs> There's so many animation errors. This whole movie is an animation error. What you talking about? I just don't. I just question how theatrical. Just doesn't feel like a theatrical movie. Plus, it came out in October. <laughs> October. Why did they release this in October? I don't. Know. Who is celebrating Christmas two months early? His wish was, I wish you'd be nice, and then she's just not.
advice. Oh, like, nice, you're not going to wish for the storm to go away or for she Santa tried. and the reindeer to be stronger so that they can she bear it? She straight up tried to commit arson, Santa. And, oh, you're forgiven. It's like, oh yeah. As long as nobody actually dies, you're fine. Man. I, bet, uh, I died inside watching that. I wish, I wish I lived in a world where you could pretty much just straight up die for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, you could get away with something if no one gets hurt. Actually, how was that not on, like, the violence page of the, uh, of the parents' guide? Because no one was, why would someone want to write a parents' guide? <laughs> hey, you never know. There's always that one... There's always that one parent who's got to find something to complain about. Like, I knew kids who weren't allowed to read Harry Potter because it's like, Oh, it's witchcraft! It's promoting, uh, it's promoting the devil! My, be my best friend in middle school, he wasn't allowed to play games. Okay, this is games he wasn't allowed to play. Okay, I, I had a 360 at a time, right? And I played a lot of Halo. I asked him, oh, do you play Halo? Is it no, my parent, my parents, my parents said I'm not allowed to play games that that couldn't happen in real life. What? He was only allowed to play. Um, he was only allowed to play Call of Duty and like hunting games and stuff because he was only allowed to play games that could happen in real life. Because I guess no imagination for kids. I don't know. Would you do that? Oh, and you're not. Hey, oh, you gotta not play Mario, because, heaven forbid, you step on a turtle in the real world. If, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it can't happen, if it couldn't happen in real life, he wasn't allowed to play it. Dang, that kid had a rough childhood. Yep. I mean, I knew kids who weren't allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh, because that was, like, demonic or whatever, but, man... How strict were these kids' parents? That's a weird name, right? but... Not using, allowed to play games using, that didn't happen. Using our... Using our hands and... Like, on, like, the school... On, like, the school, like, lunch table. And, like... Play, playing, like, pretending it was Epic Mickey for some reason. I don't remember why. I don't remember how, how something led to that. But apparently it happened. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I had to, I had to tell him like like full on like plots of game like plots of games because he wasn't allowed to play play something. Ah oh, man. Like, Usually I really when play. I didn't play a game, it was just because we couldn't afford it. It's like it's like I really want to I really want to play Halo, but I'm only allowed to play Call of Duty. Doesn't make sense. Weird logic, like 